All right, we are back, guys. Got my wife's TSX in the garage. We're going to be working on getting the motor out today. It's finally about to go. I got a, somebody who's going to come pick up the shell. Um, so we're going to get to that here in just a minute. But at first, I want to say thank you to my buddy Duran for inviting my wife and I to the wedding. It was a beautiful service. Uh, Sonia looked gorgeous in her dress. Duran, you look sharp in your freaking white tuxedo, man. It was a great, great time. And I really, really appreciate you guys inviting my wife and I to it. Couldn't have picked a better, a better day, honestly. And we got to take the Civic out. We got to take the Civic out for the first time all year. And it was on his wedding day. So that was freaking awesome, you guys. It was it was great. So Duran, congratulations to you guys. And for a long lasting life together, I hope you guys, you know, live it to the fullest. You guys really deserve it. So thank you again for inviting us. Ooh, hit the jack. Thank you again for inviting us. And we're gonna get to today's content. All right, so my wife's TSX. Obviously, you guys saw not too long ago, it was involved in an accident. Um, well, single car accident. The ball joint snapped out of it, and the wheel got shoved back, and the pillar got all messed up right here. Windshield's cracked. I did put another axle in and a ball joint, but the steering wheel is still off. I mean, it looks straight right now, but when you go driving it, the steering wheel is like all the way down here, like a 90 degrees to the left it is very bad and it pulls all over the road so not keeping it it's gonna go she's got she's had better times it's got some new tires on the rear but we're gonna end up getting rid of the car it's got the nice black leather interior in here i mean there's a lot of potential parts but i don't need it God, look at that gap you can see how bad it the control arm and the knuckles bent and the wheel is shoved in like this and the steering wheel's off like this, so it's just it's just not worth it to me, you guys. I'd rather get rid of it. So I'm gonna dive right in, get to it, get this motor out, um, and get this car out of my way. Uh, I think my wife and I are gonna be picking up a uh, CRV here soon, so that's what we're gonna be looking at. It's more better for the kids because I got you know I got three kids, so I wanna I want something more reliable than the TSX. So. The car's going, keeping the motor, keeping the swap out of here and what I need. And um, we're going to do some case swaps on the channel, you guys. And then we'll get back to the hatchbacks. I haven't, I, I know I've been slacking on those, but uh, I do have a motor for it. And I'm getting a rebuild kit for a B-Series. So a B-Series is going to be going in there here soon. Uh, I'm going to dive right into this TSX. I'm going to get this motor out and get it on the engine stand. I think I might have another engine stand around here. I don't know. I got all I got so many. I got an engine over there, engine there, engine there, engine there, and another one back there. So might have to go get another engine stand. We'll see. But I'm gonna get right into it today. Get it done. Get this motor out, you guys, and see where we're at by the end of the night. So let's just jump right in. Peace.
TSX sitting out here. No engine, no transmission. Transmission sitting right there. Um, got both K24s sitting over here. A TSX A2 K24. I got an A8 K24 out of a uh, 07 Accord. Uh, that's going to be all for next year. Once I start getting rid of some of this B-Series stuff over the winter time. I got a lot of B-Series stuff up for sale. I'm trying to just limit, get rid of as much as I can. And then hopefully uh, I can find a K-Series transmission. If that doesn't blow up October 30th at IFO import, import face-off, I'm going to be pulling the motor out probably sometime this winter. And I'm probably going to try to sell it as well. The whole swap. I mean, Honda S300, the complete turbo setup, you name it. For an EK Civic, I'm, gonna, I'm probably going to put it up for sale for, for a decent price. So... That will be all in the future, though, once we see what happens at Test and Tune. It's a go or blow situation. Oh, by the way, we are on almost 16 pounds of boost as well. So we turned it up from 12 to 16, and she's holding out pretty good. And that Max Speedy Rods Turbo, that Max Speedy Rods Turbo, they said don't push it past 12 pounds. Well, I already did that, and it's holding out pretty good. So the real test will be at IFO, and we'll see what happens. But rather than that... That is the goal for this winter. Um, this one is almost getting ready to go in. I got everything done in the engine bay. I got the motor ready. I am working on getting the transmission. I have to pull a bearing out of this tranny. And I got the other transmission sitting over there on the shelf. Uh, I finally got the differential diff bearing for this guy. I think I'm gonna swap out this one. She's got a lot of a lot of play in it i don't know if that's normal but i don't think so that's a quite a bit so yeah that's what's going to happen i'm going to get back to work and get this done and then this will be on another video and i'll be coming out here real soon as well so stick with me and uh i'll see you on the next one peace